Hi, I'm Anne and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the books that I own that I have been avoiding reading. Some of these books I'm avoiding because of just their length, some of them just for various reasons. So I'm going to go from the top to the bottom because these are pretty heavy. So the first one is just all my Chinese language books. I have really been avoiding reading them because I'm not the greatest at Chinese and I know I'll have to look up quite a lot of words. This one is about Tang poetry. I really should spend at least some time a day trying to read some of these language books that I have, but I have been avoiding them. Though in a few weeks I will be done with my Chinese in school, so I'll go to just private studying. So maybe I'll convince myself to start reading these. The second book is pretty much anything by Nietzsche. I also own uh, Beyond Good and Evil. I don't know if you can see it back there. I've just avoided his writing. He's kind of a weird individual. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, he was brilliant, but he was also completely insane. So I have been avoiding reading his books. <laughs> also, this particular one I've been avoiding particularly because it's kind of a retelling of the Bible, but from Nietzsche's perspective, like a I don't know, a new version of the Bible with like different characters and Z Zathustra, Z Zarathustra. <laughs> Zarathustra is like the Jesus or God version in this world. I don't know. It, it's weird. I tried to read it. I got like 10 pages in and I'm like, mm, nope. The next book, it should be no surprise that this is on my list. And that is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. So this book I'm avoiding because of the length. In fact, I, I did get a good chunk in. I don't know if you can see that. I got like 200 pages in or something like that. 262. But um, I've just really been avoiding reading it just because of how bloody long it is. When I read Les Mis, I don't know if you can see it over there. I loved Les Mis. It, it was easier to read because there were so many characters. It was a lot of interest and it followed a consistent plot. Whereas this one, it's kind of all over the place. There's so many characters to keep track of. And Les Mis focused on like a small amount of main characters, even if it had a lot of background secondary characters. So I don't know. I I will probably be reading this next semester because I'm taking uh, Russia and Napoleon class. And apparently, according to my teacher, we will be reading this entire book. So that will be fun. Uh, the next book is one that I've got several books that like it, and that is just war historical nonfiction books. This one is Crusade in Europe by Dwight D. Eisenhower. He was a general during World War II, and it's his campaign on Europe fighting against uh, Germany. Hitler's Germany. So I have a couple books like this. I have one on war in Korea and I'm sure I have other books. I can't think of it now, but my point is that I avoid nonfiction war books, even though I shouldn't. I'm taking a U.S. military history next year, so maybe maybe I'll be forced to read more of, you know, these types of books then. But the next book, again, is more of a genre on my bookshelf, which I just avoid all of them, and that is short stories. This particular one is an omnibus of crime edited by Dorothy Sayers. I got this literally because Dorothy L. Sayers edited it and I love her so much, but it has popular um, authors. So it has like um, Edgar Allan Poe, Conan Doyle, E.C. Bentley, G.K. Chesterton, Aldous Huxley. But my whole point is that I avoid short story collections in general, even though I own quite a lot of them and I want to get through them. And I think one of the reasons I avoid it is because when you have a full novel, I'll put this down, this is heavy. Uh, when you have a full novel, you have one story condensed into a book. And yeah, maybe that book is a thousand pages, but it's still just one story. Whereas with, with short stories, it's one story condensed into like 20 pages or something like that. And because of that, usually after I finish a book, I can't immediately start another book. I need a break. Um, and I feel that way with short stories where 
I can't immediately like jump in and read like four or five short stories at the same time. I need a break. And because of that, that means that if I'm trying to work through a short story collection, it's really hard to keep myself motivated because yeah, I'll read one of the short stories, but then I won't want to continue for a few weeks. And so I never get the book done. And the next book is Douglas Adams. This is the complete collection of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, so there are six books in here. Yeah. And I read the first one a few years ago and I really didn't like it. Um, this was originally my sister's copy of this book and then she decided to get rid of it. And I was like, well, I'm going to keep it obviously and I'm only keeping it in order to read it. And then once I finish reading these all, unless my boyfriend wants to read it too and then I'll save it for him but um i'm just going to get rid of it but i i can't will myself to work through it because i think i gave the first book two stars and my main problem was there's really no plot it's just like characters going places and like weird quirky humor and yeah the quirky humor is good but if there's not like a plot or interesting characters it just kind of doesn't grab me enough, but I really want to finish the series, so I'm going to keep it forever. And the last book I'm going to be talking about is, again, kind of a genre that I have on my shelf that I avoid, and that is uh, Chinese history books. I have quite a few that are pretty big. I think I have three really big ones, and then I have a few smaller ones that I've just been avoiding reading because they're a big commitment to read, and yeah, I, I there's definitely a habit of mine to read shorter books and avoid reading longer books, which is a bad habit and I must stop, but there we have it. Also, you will probably see this in the next video because I am trying to film a couple videos for the next few weeks because I am in the midst of about to start finals and I am so stressed out. I have never been so stressed out in a semester before. So do you struggle with any of these books or types of books? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.